What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. I see you, my little glowing friend. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. Yeah, you better run. Matter, little Spyro, you can't fly. Oh, that's right, you walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you. Ah, must be tough to lose all the time. Ah! Smell almost. That's cheating. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, pfft. Excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Oh, where's that little gnat gone now? Has everybody seen a... Take care of him! 
I gotta report to sender. Okay. You almost torched me, dude. Wait. You breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flames from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. No, with some help. You nearly turned me to ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing fire. All right? I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me! Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh! Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all but in fact an exile from an unknown distant land. So, you, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else, far away where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere. And I've got to find it. Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you. Because I'm always with you. But I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure I'm wrong in a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up, your nose clean, and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. So, hard as it was, Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know.
spiral. So uh, me and the old man were chatting, and this whole belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together, even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. Weight issues, huh? Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Rocks, old boy, go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I'm going this way, far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. Oh, it's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're... you're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? Do, do you know me? Where do I come from? What are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There are others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and Grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you. They? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You. Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might uh, mix that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Arm is attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. For many years, we fought all over the... Spiral. So, uh, me and the old man were chatting, and this whole be belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together, even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. Weight issues, huh? Oh, my 
At least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. Old boy, go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I'm going this way, far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. The whole... It's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> Yo. You're alive, but it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? D do you know me? Where do I come from? W what are you? W what are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There are others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are... 
For many years we fought all over the